So season two of Ballers started tonight. For those of you not in the know, that's The Rock's new show. And I have to say, it's a pretty amazing one. And welcome back to the heart of the stories we tell. A series where I spend way too much time thinking about what makes a story. And today's episode is... HBO's Ballers. The Rock plays the main character, Spencer Starsmore, a retired NFL player turned financial manager. He's teamed up with Rob Cordy, who plays Joe Crutell, a financial advisor at his same firm and his partner. At first glance, it looks like your typical HBO comedy. It's got some rough and crude humor, some drug humor, that sort of thing. Of course, it's on HBO, so they have some topless girls walking around here and there. Not that I'm complaining. There's a little more to it. It's a sports metaphor show that's outside the sports arena because there's still a lot of sports in their motif as well. And that's what I want to talk about specifically. The themes of ballers, specifically because it is just your classic sports story. If you think about it, where do all sports stories start? Oh, the team's down on its luck, things are bad, and then they rise up at the end and win the championship game, right? Well, most of them anyway. Well, this theme is the same. The first season played on the fact that our main character, Spencer, was out of everything and was trying to rebuild his life. But now he did. Season one, he triumphantly rebuilt his life and now is ready to move on and is now in charge of an entire organization of people representing other sports stars. So season two, we need a new bar to jump. We need a new enemy. We need a new threat. And in the face of the franchise, we have the fact that he himself still has a little bit of growing to do. If you saw his interview, that was hysterical. Part of me wanted to see him kick the shit out of that guy. All right, anyway, Face of the Franchise showed the fact that he needs to grow because he still is facing all of the problems from when he got screwed over as a player. And he now has a new enemy to face, a new rival sports team. Instead of it being a sports team, it's another financial advisor. Enter Andre, the villain. The same way you'd expect the Red Sox and the Yankees to be opposing forces, these two are going to be opposing forces in the financial world. Specifically, we've already set out, we're going to take all of Andre's clients. This season, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see contract negotiation, we're going to see fun parties, we're going to see, in general, Spencer trying to wreck Andre's career. Specifically because Andre ruined Spencer's life. It's really just the bad news bears. We've just escalated. Last season it was all about building from nothing. This season it's, hey, now I've gotten here, but here's this new big fish I've got to chomp on. And so really, it's just a sports metaphor. And the best part is, and I think whoever came up with this is ingenious, they took the sports metaphor and made it about people looking at sports. So you still have all the football stuff, and it is still a comedy. There's going to be a lot of funny things, and it's on HBO. There's going to be some sex, and there's going to be some drugs, and there's going to be some turmoil. But at the end of the day, the main theme is the same theme you get from the Bad News Bears. As we walk through the heart of the stories we tell, it's important to see these stories all share a similar theme running through them. Our triumphant victories all come because we were at our lowest low when we got there, at least in the stories. I would rate this show so far as a solid silver. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to be putting up my rating system later this week to give a more in-depth explanation. In the meantime, my main video is up for the week as well already. It was being loaded while I was watching the show, and then I made this. So, join us back here next week. Subscribe, share, and like to get more of my insane ramblings where I spend way too much time thinking about what makes up a story.